Welcome back everyone. In this video we're going to take a look at the Windows Automated Installation Kit, the WAIK. The objective for this video is to create an answer file, also known as an unattend or an auto unattend file. So to get started we will need to open up the Automated Installation Kit. If you don't have this, you can download it from Microsoft's website. You will need to install it to use it. And we can see that it already has a Windows image set up for it. Um, I have used this before, but we're going to go ahead and create a new answer file. And let me see if I can get it to drop that whim really quick. Since I already have a uh, Windows image selected, I'm not getting the prompt for it when you first open it and hit new answer file it prompts you to select a windows image I'm going to go ahead and do that here and so you'll need either an ISO format for a Windows 7 installation disk or you'll need the actual physical disk if you have an ISO you will need to extract it I believe or mount it into a virtual dr drive so that you can browse into the folders contained within it for mine I have the ISO file extracted already in my downloads folder and we will browse down to it. I'm using professional end for this so it doesn't even show the ISO file that's here it's specifically looking for a WIM or a catalog file so you browse into that disk go into the sources folder and you'll have the install WIM available right there this is the generic it'll include all four of these. You can select a specific one from a catalog file if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just do the basic one and then it'll prompt me for which version. So I'm building one for a professional and in this case. And it'll just reload all of your options here. This one's going to be fairly basic. We're going to expand components and we're just going to go down to our setup. Let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. All I'm really doing for this unattend file, or this answer file, is putting in a Windows 7 license key. You have a ton of options that you can do for this setup, and if it's built correctly and all of the, correct, all of the necessary settings are set, you can actually completely automate the installation process from formatting the hard drive, creating partitions, um, through all of the pop-ups that we will get to as it completes. Um, in the installation process where it asks you to create a username and a computer name um, the time zone put in the operating system key which is what we're gonna set it to do is just the operating key and we want the setup right here under setup you expand that and users user data here we'll expand that and there's our product key option we right click on that to add it into the pass one for Windows PE and it pops up over here so in this section we can come in here and edit the key remember this is five groups of five digits if you don't have one a generic is just one two three four five for each grouping the will show UI is the user interface the little pop-up dialog box this should be a drop down and your options are to always show it in which case it'll display this and you can just hit next to continue or skip you can have it never display no matter what it will not pop up until somebody logs in and then if the key didn't work it'll ask them to provide a proper key or you can have it set up on error if it can't properly install this key to the operating system so I'm gonna have it do it on error and then you just go and tell it to save the file I'm just going to go ahead and save this into the root of my downloads and you can call this unattend or auto unattend if you're using uh, Windows deployment services on a server I believe you can just leave it as unattend and use it that way I'm going to go ahead and use auto unattend and save it here and then we can close the image manager wizard to build that so we have it created now we'll go into our downloads folder and you can see it's an XML file 
you can right click and hit edit to open that in a basic notepad if you have notepad plus plus installed you can view it there or you can open a web browser like Google Chrome or Internet Explorer and browse to that file to open it to view the XML I'm gonna go ahead and use notepad plus plus which will give us the XML formatting here and we can see that key that I put in and that will only show the user interface on error so this is a good way to come and double check to make sure it was built correctly um, most of this it does build all by itself and the CPI source down here is usually a catalog or a WIM file so it has a link back to that in case it needs to pull any extra data in most cases I've noticed when I'm using these this is actually pretty optional it needs to be this line needs to be there but this file doesn't actually get accessed so that is the basics of creating that answer file um, we may look a little bit more later into linking that for imaging but until then I hope to see you in my next video if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below